Jai Chinen kids, welcome to NRA Pramanik Patshala. This is the class for level 1 and we are going to work in this session on week 3, Mangal Part. I request all my dear kids sit properly, take your comfortable position and listen to this beautiful session ahead. Alright, so I request kids that when we do a Swathyay or when we take any Patshala class, just take a small vow of not to eat anything, not to drink anything during this Pachara sessions. All right. Let's take a small vow in your mind and recite Namukar Mantra. And then we are going to begin this session. Namo Arihantaram, Namo Sitharam, Namo Ayariyaram, Namo Uvachayanam, Namo Lui Sarva Sahunam. Aesu Panchnamu Yaro, Sarva Pau Panashnu, Mangalam Chasavisim, Padamam Hoi Mangalam, Chapala Panch Parmeshti Bhagwan Ki, Jay Achari Shrivitya Sagaji Muniraj Ki, Jay Munishwaman Sagaji Maharaj Ki, Jay Ahinsa Parmudhar Miki, Jay. All right, kids. So, kids, in case you missed that live session, what I took in the class, this is the recording for week three. I request all my kids listen to this audio video properly, carefully, so that you can complete your Google Classroom assignments and do, do, do submit it at on time. All right. So, let me share the screen and let's begin with Mangal part. All right. This is our uh, classroom screen and you can find this video in both the language, English and Hindi. Whichever mode is convenient to you, you can switch on that mode and then you can listen to this video. And then there is a quiz around this video. Complete your quiz and there is a submission button. Do submit it. All right. So let's begin with Mangal part. What the Mangal part is, how many types of Mangals are there. This all is come under this category. Jai Jinendra, everyone. Do you remember we shared a very powerful thing with you in our last video, which will give you great confidence to face every problem that you may come across in life? Do you remember what it was? It was Namokar Mantra. So today, we will tell you about a very interesting thing, which will fill your life with abundant happiness and joy. Do you want to know what we are talking about? All right, let's get started. Did you know that Mongol means something that makes everything auspicious? Like something that puts an end to all of our bad karmas? There are four types of Mongol called Arihant, Siddha, Sahu, and Dharma. All right, kids. So over here, this is an important point to be noticed. That what do you mean by Mongol? Mongol means auspiciousness, right? Mangali Mangal ho rai sabne. Mangal Mangal hoi chakat me. Sab Mangal me hoi. Right? Muniraj also sings a song. This <coughs> bhajan, this prarthna. Ki sab chake Mangal hi Mangal ho. What do you mean by Mangal? Mangal means auspiciousness. How many types of Mangals are there in our dharm? There are four types of Mangals. What are those four? Let me repeat. Mangal. First is Arihan. Second is Sit. Third is Sadhu and fourth is Dharm, right? So go ahead and then we are going to understand that what Arihan said we know already in our last class that when we talk about Panch Parmeshti, right? We have already discussed that who are Arihan, who are Siddh, who are Sadhu Parmeshti, right? So in this video, you are going to learn about Mangal that uh, when we recite Namokar Mantra, then we have a Mangal part also, right? Arihanta Mangalam, Siddha Mangalam, Sahu Mangalam, Kevli Parnatto Dhammo Mangalam, like this. The four Mangals, Arihant, Siddha, Sahu, and Dharma. The one that Kevli Bhagwan has taught us is Dharma. It means the God that has attained Kevli Gyan, or infinite knowledge. Dharma makes us ever blissful and ever happy, as blissful and as happy as Siddha Bhagwan. Dharma teaches and tells us about all of the good things we need to incorporate to make our lives happy. So the four Mangals are Arihant, Siddha, Sahu, and Dharma. Tell me according to you, who is the best in the universe? 
Tell me, kids, who is best in this universe? Is this Barack Obama? It's Bill Gates? Samita Bachchan? Or maybe your uh, school head? Who is best in this world? You? Uh, do you think the people who are very wealthy are best in this world? No. If you are thinking in that way, then you are absolutely wrong, right? Let's see then what's the correct answer. Is it the president or maybe Superman? Are they the greatest? No, even they have many problems in life. They are not always happy, they have greed and they feel sad. They feel bad when their loved ones leave them and they get anxious and hassled. So now tell me, who is the best in the universe? They are Arihant Bhagwan, Siddha Bhagwan, Sahu Bhagwan, and Kewal Bhagwan. Whenever we face any problem in life, who should we go to find a solution and or get help from? Whose door should we knock? Who should we take inspiration from in life? And whom should we take guidance from? Any guesses? Yes, we should always bow down to the following four. Arihant, Siddha, Sahu, and Dharma. These four are our Mango. They are the best in the universe, which means they are Uttam, and we should always take their shelter. The most important thing is, we can easily say everything we just learned from this video in a special prayer called Mangal Pat. Let's say it together. Shatari Mangalam Arihanta Mangalam Siddha Mangalam Sahu Mangalam Kevali Panato Tammo Mangalam Chattari Mangalam means that there are four Mangals. Chattari means four and Mangalam means Mangal. Chattari Lokuttama Arihanta Lokuttama Siddha Lokuttama Sahu Lokuttama Kevali Panato Dhammo Lokuttama Chattari means four and Lokuttama means best among all beings, like the best people in the whole universe. So if I talk about the first tense of Mangalpa, right? What's the first tense of Chittari Mangalam, Arihanta Mangalam? Where Mangalam is there, that means there are four auspicious things, right? What are those? Arihan, Siddh, Sahu and Dharma, like Kevli Dharma, right? Kevli Bhagwan ke pataya dwara pataya gaya kyan. If I talk about who are the best in this universe, that stanza comes as Logutma, Chittari Logutma, Arihanta Logutma, Siddha Logutma, Sahu Logutma, Kevli Pandattu Dhammo Logutmo. That means, Kaun Kaun Yaha Par Best Hai, Auspicious Ke Saad Saad, Charo Hi, Kaun Kaun Char, Arihanta Ji, Siddha Ji, Sadhu and Kevli Dwara Bataya Gaya Dhar. Is it clear to everyone? I hope you are getting it properly. Right, kids? Chattari Sharanam Pavajami Arihante Sharanam Pavajami Siddhe Sharanam Pavajami Sahu Sharanam Pavajami Kevali Panatam Dhammam Sharanam Pavajami Chattari means four and Sharanam Pavajami means taking shelter or refuge. Siddhe Sharanam Pavajami means taking shelter or refuge from Siddha Bhagwan. All right. So over here, what the video is trying to say is Sharanam means getting into the shelter. Right. Ham jab bhoat zada nervous hoote hai, bhoat dar jate hai, to ham kis ke paas jate Mama ke paas mein. Right. To give a mama a big hug. When you get a big hug from your parents, you feel like, oh wow, now I am... I'm at the right place, right? In the same way, in our dharm, we have four, four, four auspicious things, right? In which we, through which we can get in shelter, right? Hume unki sharan mein jana hi best hai. Kaun hai wo four? So those four are Arihant Sarnam Pavav Chami, Siddhe Sarnam Pavav Chami, Sahu Sarnam Pavav Chami, Kevli Pannatam Dhammam Sharanam 
pavachami sahu sharanam pavachami means taking shelter or refuge of sadhus devali panatam dammam sharanam pavachami breakdowns into devali meaning dharma panatam meaning as told by dammam meaning dharma sharanam meaning shelter and pavachami meaning going there evli bhagwan ke dwara bataye gaye dharm ki sharan mein jana chahta hu that's the exact meaning of the last uh, line of the second stanza of our mangal part i hope you all are getting it if you are not getting it then again repeat thanks again all the videos which is there on the google classroom and i'm pretty sure you'll able to understand that what each and every word of this mangal part tells you right for kevali panatam dammam sharanam pavachami means taking shelter or refuge of dharma do we understand So today we learned Mangal Path and that we should recite Mangal Path daily so that our lives are filled with bliss, happiness and joy. Jai Janindra. All right guys, so that was a beautiful video that told you that I told you about the Mangal Path. So if I go back, we have a beautiful quiz over here, a very interesting quiz for you regarding the Mangal Path. So you can complete your Google Classroom assignment completing that quiz. <laughs> All right, in our class we are going to play a Kahoot for sure. In this week you are going to learn a Bhaktambar Stroth Shlok number three and four. So I request all the kids please to complete your assignments. Then you have a Kahoot also on Bhaktambar. That's great. And then what's the niyam for this week? For niyam we have to spin a wheel. Let's see. Let me move on to the niyam list. And then you have to spin a wheel. And whatever niyam comes on that wheel, that is going to be your niyam for this week. All right, kids. So let's begin. It's a fun thing, right? Okay. This time, let me take a open a box. I don't want to spin a wheel. I want to open a box. All right. So let's see which number would you like to go. Let me see. Uh, 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 number. We learn about Mangal part, right? How many Mangals are there? Four. What are those? Arihan, Sid, Sadhu, and Dharma. So let's pick number four for this niyam. I I will not have any juice or cold drink. Oh, that's great. You so kids, this is a niyam for this week that you are not allowed to eat any juice or a cold drink which are packed, right? So not from any store, if you bring any packed container, so that's not allowed. You can have a fresh uh, juice like from your house, which is like you just make it fresh with the fresh fruits. That is allowed, but don't drink any packed juices or cold drink for this week. That's a small niyam for you. Do you know, kids, why we take those small niyams? Because by taking all those niyams, the niyams really helps you in removing all the bad karmas from your soul and make you very disciplined with the dharma. And if you are going to be very disciplined in your dharma, what you are going to do, your soul will be lighten up while removing all the bad karmas, and then gradually you'll move towards the moksha path. Right, kids. I hope you understood all the things. Whatever being there in your Google Classroom, you have to listen to this uh, lesson. Then you have to complete your quiz. Then you have to do. Uh, there is a Bhaktambar Stroth uh, Shlok three or four for this week to be learned. Then you have a niyam. That niyam for this week is you are not allowed to drink any packed juices or cold drink for this week. Then you can do a pratikraman also, right? Do you know kids what are pratikraman? Pratikraman is a very beautiful prayer when we recite every night before going to bed. That's neat. that's a pratikraman where we request the bhagwan where we take a prayer in front of bhagwan that all the bad things whatever we have done in throughout the day that we are just asking for a forgiveness. We are asking for a sorry. So pratikraman should always be done before going to bed. 
All right, kids, I hope you understood this lesson. This is a small uh, like a uh, recording session for you all. So in case if you miss that week three, this is just a summary how we completed this session. I hope you all enjoyed this session. Do complete all your assignments on Google Classroom. I'm going to see you all very soon in our live lesson class. Till then, uh, before going to this uh, session end, let's do a Jinwani Stuti and then we are going to end this session. All right, everyone, take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Relax your body. Just... Uh, remember the Siddha Parmeshti sitting in very beautiful Siddha Shila. All right. All right. Chinna Deva Apke Pavan Mukhasi Kirti Jo Omkar Dwani Sab Ko Shiv Pat Pat Lati Hai Pat Pani Ma Chinnavani Chinnavani Ma Tevi Kripa Se मिले हमें भी मोक्ष सदन इसीलिए हम मन वचन से करते मानित तुम्हें नमन जय बोलो तुम्हारे शंजीवानी माता की जय जय जिनेंद्र